Yo, yo, it's ODB. I want to do a quick unboxing today to show you something that I picked up a while ago. I think some of you will appreciate it, so let's jump right in. All right, so recently we had two storms here in Florida, one that really wreaked havoc along the coast, and about 10 to 12 days later, another storm that really wreaked a lot of havoc inland with a torrential rain downpour as well as high winds. And what that resulted in is me really coming out to my shop here and doing as much prep as I could. Now, that basically entailed a lot of different stuff. You know, just making sure that if there were winds that were hitting across the building and whatnot, that things were gonna be secure. So I moved a bunch of stuff around and I knew that I've had this for a while and if you know me, I'll buy things to make sure that if it's something I really want, I'll pick it up because I, I rarely, if ever, will pay the resale value on things. So for instance, when I wanted the Back to the Future Valterra board, I was aware that there was possibly gonna be one that would come out and I made sure, I made sure that I was ready to rock and roll when that thing became available because I don't wanna go on eBay three months later and, and pay double the price. That's something similar what happened here. I picked this up and I was just looking at, I picked this up and I was just looking at the shipping label. I bought this and uh, the date on it is August 17th of 2022, just over two years ago. And I never did anything with it simply because, um, I, you know, I bought it, I was really happy about it. And I don't have a, a place yet to display this item, but I will in the future, hopefully. So what I've done is I've slit the box open. We're gonna take out some of the packing material and let's just get right to it. What do you think this is? Based upon the size of the box. Well, if you guessed the skateboard, you are correct, okay? Now, uh, here's what I did. I, um, over the course of time, have tagged this skate, this professional skateboarder many, many times. Uh, just trying to, to say, hey, look, other people are reissuing decks. It would be so awesome if you did that as well. And this guy, this professional, he eventually got around to releasing some decks. And this is... Kevin, stop. Now, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about another deck here in the next video that I'm gonna do, but as a child, as a kid, as a, a youngster, uh, a, a neighbor of mine by the name of Larry Parker, not the attorney for those on the West Coast, uh, he was an amazing skater. I mean, this guy could ollie over a garbage can. I mean, he was, he was amazing, he had a mini ramp, I think, he had a full-size ramp, then a mini ramp in his backyard. It was so cool to watch him skate. And he had a stop. Now, not this exact one, but he had a stop. And it made me kind of fall in love with the graphics as a kid. I sucked at skating. I did skate. I could do a couple things, but not very much. Um, stop has some of the most iconic graphics out there. And, you know, looking in some of the usual places... It's just really, really, really hard to find anything that's original that's not gonna you know, cause you to have to remortgage your house, right? So I kept tagging Staub over the course of time, a couple posts a year. I was like, man, it would be awesome. And lo and behold, he did relaunch some decks. Now he's continued to do this. I think it's Staub Treasures is his website. And I'll show you a close up here in a minute. But let me know if you remember the name. Uh, you know, many of you potentially that are gonna land on this video were skaters yourself and things like that but i'll tell you what these graphics are so iconic this was not my favorite one this was the first one he launched so i jumped on it thinking that hey if this is the only one he ever does i want to get it luckily for me less than a year later he did another launch that was in the summer early summer if you will of 2023 and i'll be talking about that deck more but let's look at some close-ups and wrap up this video let me know what you think. Stop. Thank you so much, Kevin Stop, for doing this. It's so awesome. I love this pink color. I love this graphic. It's going to look good once I eventually display it. 
All right, so looking at this graphic, it just came out so good. The colors really pop. I'm a big fan of kind of the hot pink and blues from the 80s. Kind of ties into my 64 Lincoln. Now, I did not mention this is a signed deck, which was super cool. And I totally understand not everybody's into collecting, you know, the decks that are maybe signed. I wasn't so interested in the signature, which I thought was kind of the icing on the cake. I know this stuff can be kind of an expensive hobby, but for me, the good thing is I don't have a lot of boards. So the few that I have or the few that I really desire, I pretty much already acquired. So sure, if you're going to buy one or two here and there, uh, it's not going to break the bank. But certainly if you're looking for OG stuff or you're looking for, uh, you know, to collect every color of a colorway, it obviously gets way more expensive. Here's the last two looks of it. This is, of course, against the 64 Lincoln Continental Blue, the patina car that I own. And then we'll look at the other side now. And then there you go. There's the top side with that famous Staub Pirate logo. And plain for the most part. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments. Stay on the rise. I do believe it's an original shape, too. Peace.